Okay, so here's the GT3B with its four wheel steering. Let's try to see if we can make that work out. Now, I'm going to show you what they never show you. And that is how to actually set the thing. All right. That's what I'll do. I'm going to restart it so you can see it from the get go. Okay. That's what you start off with. Click it once, go to end point, hold the button until you get channel 4, and then you want it to say 3. As long as it says 3 here, you're good to go. Everything else I have at 0, crawl 0. They tell you to do crawl 1 on this one. I have it at zero, it really doesn't matter because at the end all it is is you either reverse or you keep it at normal, your rear steering. Uh, you gotta cross zero. That's it for end point. And you go to reverse. Hold the button down. Okay, the number one, you don't mess with. Number two, you don't mess with. Number three, you want it to be a four wheel steer. Click again. You want it to be BMO, RE0, RV0, and that's it for that one. T, don't mess with. And you go to C. C, you want it to be four wheel steer. Okay. MO0. RE0, RTV0, off, and that's that. Shut the whole thing up. This guy right here, push it forward, push it forward here, and you push it back. Rear steer. Now, what you do is when you want the front or the rear, you have to hold it forward for the front or hold it back for the rear. There's ways that you can say so you could just click it once and it stays on it, but I'd rather keep it that way. And that is it.